Okay, so we're at a meat stop here in Sydney. Yeah. About to check out one of the biggest, uh, I think it's the biggest smoker in Australia. Look at the size of this bloody thing. Look that. Come around the other side. I'll go that way. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Cool. Brett's my name. Sorry, bro. You're all right, man. No worries at all. Crocodile. One of my favourites, bone marrow. Everyone knows I love a good bone marrow. One thing that I haven't tried before, well, I have had crocodile before, but I've never had it actually on the coal. So, um, mate, I think you've got everything. Oh, yeah, tomahawk. We've got some ribs, got some pork, got some belly. Got everything. Ham legs. What? That's the question. What don't we have? Uh, that, that is actually a good question. Yeah, I don't know. What, what don't we have? <laughs> is there a lamb on there? Over there. there is, oh, there it is, yeah. yeah. All right, we got it all. Yeah. Give me a tray, Benny. Jimmy, Jimmy Don. Yeah, Jimmy Don. Jimmy Don. Jimmy Don. So this this brisket's been cooked by the big dude, Jimmy Don, over at Black Iron Smokers, and we want to give you a little taste test. They're chopping it up right now. Jewel on it, fucking jewel on it. Hey, what's good? Taste it first. Oh, and I don't get all this. Okay. UFC guys, UFC. Guy. I'm not a UFC guy. Yeah, go. Oh yeah. Struggling a little bit. I believe he cooked pretty good barbecue. I watched a few of his YouTube videos before the game. Apologies. Apologies. See that? Now. Robot ball? What? I did? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So we need to know that they want to have a taste, right? Okay. So we don't give them nothing until they make the noise that we want to hear, okay? Okay. And it's all up to you. So do you get to make the decision, but I'll give you the little. Boy, so what am I doing? I'm ringing the you bell. You ring the bell. I'll and they're going to give them a big uh, scream. Yeah, I'll pump them up. Then you ring the bell. And they're going to do it extra, extra loud. Yes, only, mate, only it. extra. And then they get a feed when they do you that. You got it, my man. And they don't get a feed if they don't. Correct. Okay. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, here at Meat Stop 2024 Sunday session at the Heat Beats Meat Wagon, we've got Alex Volkanovsky wanting to know. He's asking the question right now. Do you want to eat some meat from the Heat Beats Meat Wagon and Black Iron Smokers? Yeah! What do you reckon? Oh, what's another one? another one? Ladies and gentlemen, the brisket from the Heat Beats Meat Wagon and Black Iron Smokers. What do we say? Yeah! You got him, Alex. There we go. Send him round, brother. I've got told to move quick. Yeah, so we're at a uh, meat stock here in Sydney. I've been always uh, wanting to come here. Um, I've uh, had a couple of mates that have always been here cooking up some things and uh, some, yeah, again, some I've always wanted to do, but uh, we're here today, so uh, you're gonna love it. Right now, we're about to check out one of the biggest, uh, I think it's the biggest smoker in Australia. Look at the size of this bloody thing. How are you? Yeah, good morning, sir. Very good, mate. Far out. All the setup you got there, huh? Set up, brother. That's the door there. Oh, crocodile as well? Yeah, a couple of crocodiles. Oh, one crocodile. Oh, there you go, brother. Good, good. Awesome to meet you, brother. Awesome to meet you. Yeah, yeah. Biggest smoker in the Southern Hemisphere. Big, biggest reverse flow in the world, yeah. So, uh, how do you throw this thing around? Everything gets done by crane, fronter, crane in, and then semis. Wow. So, we cut it all over Australia. Wow. So where, where, where are you based then? We're based in Brisbane, Ipswich. Brisbane, okay, yeah. yeah. So we've got a monster smokehouse up there. Oh, and nice. And we do stuff all over the place, yeah. Wow, yeah. yeah. Is he yeah. going to be right out of a room? Oh, yeah, yeah bro. We're going to have to... Damn, oh, mate, you can fit some stuff in there, oh, right? Oh, we've got one rack on there, but look how... Oh, yeah? Look oh, how long right. that is, brother. We can fit. So look at that. You can obviously see how many of them are. 12 now. briskets on, on, on one road, bro. Crazy. 36 of one door. And, um, most of it's all wrapped because we're just about finishing that. Yeah. We're just finishing some pork um, belly bites we have on this part. So we've got some pork uh, belly burn ends. There we go. So there. Yeah. Yeah. Got some. Yeah, yeah. Some pork, we, we watch, uh, we watch all your cooking as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, me I'm and like, my I son there, yeah. we love it. Yeah. My, son, my son's a bit master. Yeah, yeah. It's a really, I, know, like, I love, I love, just, I just love cooking. You know, yeah. I'm not that, that good at it, but I love the water, you know. Crocodile. Uh, obviously everyone knows in Australia big saltwater crocodiles we have up in the Northern Territory and that. Uh, we eat them too. So I'm going to give one of these a crack. They've got some that's already been cooked up. I'm sure it's been, I think it would have already been on this. Uh, we're going to give that a crack. Let's go have a try. 
Oh, wow, mate. That's for you. Oh, okay, cheers. How are you? He's nervous. He's shaking here. He's shaking. He's like, oh, I'm <laughs> So we've got a Cajun spice crocodile roll with a whiskey pineapple sauce. Uh, just a bit of salt. Nice, easy, good on the flavour. All right. Colour, beautiful. Let's do it. I might have to try some of the crocodile try as well. Try some of it, yeah. Nice, I'm trying to think of, it's almost like a chicken, isn't it? Like the, the texture. Tastes like crocodile, but chicken. Crocodile. <laughs> so, so what it is, a, a farm crocodile, they, they, they feed nice on chicken. Food. Farm crocodile feed chicken. Crocodile's good. Crocodile's real good. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, nice and juicy too. Go yeah, one more, I'm, I'm starving as well. I didn't have breakfast. So <laughs> Oh my! Very good. You feeling strong, are you? I don't know. Easy. I'm fucking. I'll be full. Challenging myself. Nice, good, nice. Alex, what do you want to press? What do you want to do? Know. I don't know. What do you like <laughs> What's something you think? Uh, uh, so it's, I mean, these boys got to show me how it's done. Got to lap the log here. Roll, roll it up, and then you can either strip press. Me. Or push press over okay, head yeah. and just tuck it back. All right. Against it. Yeah. Going to use those inside handles. Oh, okay. Perfect. Nicely in the middle. That's yep. bang on. You're going to dead. You're going to come dead. here. Boom. And then you're going to do all of that. <laughs> just like, just like that. Leave it there. Boom. Yep. Okay. I think you need the bigger one. Let's go bigger. Let's get the right. So jump okay. up a bit. Easy peasy. Let's go up. So get a feel for it. If it doesn't go straight up, pop it back down and uh, reassess. All right. We'll get that up. Yeah. So roll it forward a bit first. Yeah, perfect. Whoop. All right. Squat down. Squat down. Right. Squat down. Squat down. Yeah. You wait. Let me get that stuff down. Bring your chest to the log. Wait. Put all the stuff in here. Yeah, you get. And problem. That's it. All right here. Yeah. So deadlift it up. Then lift it up, up yep. then squat yep. down. Squat down squat. to it and pull it against your chest. That's it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ah, you bastard. Do you want some tens on this one? Go halfway in between. I'll go one more. Yeah. Alex, when you do a duck flip, so if you do a duck flip, you don't use the biceps, you use the whole body. So yeah. what we do with cross it, you squat down here, then you stand up upright, at the same time bring your head through, and roll up. Don't and just get get it like yeah. right up there. When you right up there. Mm -hmm. the elbows, you want elbows up here. That's it, man. Don't use your arms. Use your whole body. Just fucking keeping it there. I'll just put it over there. The back. <laughs> that's all right. That's right. I'm like trying to find a good balance. Well, I think I need to overcommit more. One more try. What? Pull it hard against your chest. Higher on your chest. There we go. On the strict press. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. There we go. That's right, is that good or is that meant to hold it longer? Yeah, you got to get blocked out so your elbows have to lock out straight. And then Fuck, we're going to have to do that again then. Nah, no, we got it. Yeah. Okay. Right, so strong deadlift, then pull it tight into your chest. <clears throat> on your chest, higher on your chest. That's better. That's it, now big hips. Better, yeah. good. Up, 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 push, up, up, push. Up, 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 Good lift. Yeah, we locked in, baby. Very good. Yeah. There we go. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> I would have never. Uh, I would have been disappointed if I didn't do that. Yeah. I wouldn't be able. I wouldn't leave the spot till yeah. I did it. Eh? The important thing with stones: don't try and scoop it like this, because that's bison okay, territory. Yep, yep. You want to keep your arms straight, go all the way under. Deadlift up, just like you did with the log. Put it into your lap. Yeah. So now you can rest from there. Yeah. Pull it into your chest like the log. Get your arms over the top of it. So see how they're at like 10 and 2? Not underneath. Yep. 10 and 2. From there, just like the log, big hips. Roll it up your chest, hand off at the top. That'll get you a good rep. Alright. So, sure. oh, well. so feet. I'm straight, I'm straight. So I'm straight. Feet in the middle. That's so come forward. That's it. Arse higher. Arse higher? Yeah. Arms straight. Perfect. And it's up. Up it, arms over, arms over. Feet, 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 feet together, feet together, feet together. Shuffle your feet, yeah, and yeah. extend up. Whew! <laughs> Squat down. Squat down. Hey. Squat down. 
squat, yeah. Squat, yeah. Yep. Um, so That's it. Extra up. Extra up. Yeah. I mean, I'll get it up. I just it's stuck to my shirt. There we go. Easy, man. Good job. Yeah, don't squat. Don't squat. Don't squat. Don't squat. Don't squat. <laughs> Easy. What's that one? I've got a 70. <laughs> Do a 70 turn. Up. Shuffle up. Arms up. Arms up. Arms up. Yeah. That's it. And up. Oh, roll, roll, roll. Forward searching through, bro. Easy. Just be careful your bicep. Yes. Yes. I started moving forward, I was like, I'll stop now before I, because I can't drop it on the mat. Yep. And then they're like, oh yeah, it wasn't, I'm like, fuck. I should have just been stubborn and walked myself back, but I just thought that was more unsafe. But. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't let me, I guess. Not only with roid rage and cattle king boogers beach, but a stable full of hyper... So yeah, these are our contractors have come from all around New South Wales and Queensland. Okay. So yeah. what we do with the PBR, there's a whole program with our ABBI. So Queensland, New South Wales, we've got them all scattered. Okay. We try yeah. and get five, roughly, from each contractor. All right. So there's a good mix of pens here. All right. The bulls don't like to necessarily hang out together. So that's why we split them up into their travelling buddies. Oh, okay. And some bulls particularly need to be on their own. <laughs> <laughs> get on one? Oh, no. well, I don't know. Was I allowed? No, yeah, not, not yeah, now. Okay. You can get him on one. Yeah, but not right now. <laughs> okay, yeah, <laughs> we'll okay. We'll have to get <laughs> We want to make sure. I was uh, having a laugh thinking, oh, maybe I'll jump on like a smaller one or, um, you know, I'm just thinking that, yeah, just try and make sure it doesn't fucking hit you. But then you see them locked up in the cage. I'm looking at their ankles and their wrists and all that, like I'm uh, seeing injuries everywhere. I'm like, ooh, all right, I'll stay away from that. Uh, it's pretty impressive, but like, nuts. Ah, oh, okay. okay. So the way the game is, the way this game is played, is I need to give you. You need to give me the protein and the cut. <laughs> Fair enough. I need to know whether it's beef, lamb, pork, or chicken. Do you know the answer to that? Are you confident that you know the answer Very to that? Confident. All right, here we go. Alex Volkanovski, what is the protein that's being held up right there? Beef. It's beef. We're fifty percent of the way there. The bone's about to be in and around your mouth. Okay, beautiful. The second part. Are you confident that you might know the cut of that beef? Yes. I believe you've got a YouTube channel that you're now doing cooking with Vox, is that yep, right? Yep. We did a bit of a pump up early. If you're not following Vox on YouTube, is it is it just Vox? Where Alexander Vox. They'll, they'll, they'll find, find it, you'll find it. Yeah. There's some real good stuff on there. So, are you confident that you know... Oh, he is! He straight away knows the answer. All right. Sir, please tell me, this is beef. What's the cut? Picana. It is Picana! Yeah. Get that bone inside your mouth. Give a round of applause, bro. Alex Walker, <laughs> come down and meet stock today. Thank you very much. Oh, man, that's good. Out the <laughs> that's good. Oh, that's my Honey phone. Alex. You little ripper. <laughs> yeah, they're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah got a, need, a, need a good shear, mate. They've got a good shear. Oh, good man. Good so we want to turn it. Hey, we also, ladies and gentlemen, watch your... The tomahawk. Some of the tomahawk they had there before. Yeah, come on this side, so you can see that. Been busy running around, so I missed it. They left me some of the scraps. But, hey... Scraps are even good on the top of all. We're ready to go again. No, I won't get that, mate. We're going to get the men. Get the men to give it a try. All right, we're getting into that. All right, there we go. Mmm. Oh, what do you reckon, mate? 
Did you already put some sweetness in that as well? Yeah. Oh, I was yeah. just what did you put some of that on there? Yeah, it's uh, on the top. Yeah. Well, so you already we, done that. Yeah, oh, glazed okay. it. Yeah. I didn't see you put it in there. I was like, I'm not gonna taste it. Nice. What do you reckon? Beautiful, man. Yeah. So that's from Queensland, that beef's from Queensland, it's uh, uh, John D. Brisket. Yeah, that's a John D. Uh, Wagyu 9 Plus. I like that, your sweetness. Might have another one. Yeah, go. No. <laughs> you're, not, you're not in training camp? No, nah, well, mate, like, like I said, I was just saying, we need to eat a little bit more. We've had a couple of pieces here and there, like, we didn't eat breakfast enough of it. Oh, there you go. Beautiful. So yeah, today we've pretty much just got like the flat end of the brisket, so you got two muscle groups, and we've trimmed off the, the point end. And this is just left with a long piece of meat where you get your slice from. It's tr traditionally it's like the leaner piece of the um, of the cow, but because we're doing competition, we try and cook the most marbled uh, beef that we can. Um, so this one here is from uh, John D. Uh, out of I think it's Warwick. Yeah, Warwick, yeah, Warwick Queensland. Um, and uh, it's it's some really rich, really tasty beef. But it's actually, you know, um, in comparison to everything else, we, we pump it with um, injection, phosphates to retain moisture. And essentially it's the same as cooking it in the backyard, except we're just adding a little bit more of everything. Yeah. So as in you want it to have more punch because... Yeah, one bite. They have a one bite, we one need bite. to deliver. We need a, They need to deliver on that one bite. So, one punch. So that's yeah. beautiful, <laughs> you know what I mean? You, yeah. you can never have too much uh, flavour, especially if you have one bite. So no, exactly. let, them, let them have it. Yeah. Oh, I exactly. love that. Beautiful. And in that pan, yep. put it back in the, in the shoe. Okay, yeah. And then uh, we'll get the burn ends out, then everything gets boxed up. Okay, yeah. In. Also, you got the burn ends as well. Try one of them. I'm gonna have to try one of the burn ends. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. So that's what I wanted to know, like, uh, with the. I mean, I that's what. You're only going to get that like that smoke ring there. Yeah, right? well, yeah, exactly. That's just the smoke permeating so, them, mate. I need them for the things, don't you? Oh, no, yeah, you can have one. You can have a whole one. Uh, you yeah. want me to cut, that, cut out for both me and him? No, no. Go for okay, it. you sure? You can have that. It's right. going to be real hot, man. Okay, let me uh, yeah. <laughs> give me this one. So, burn ins, right? Yep. Always going to be, mate, this is going to pack a punch uh, with some flavour, that's for sure. Yeah, and I cannot sure. wait. Let's do it. Out of ten. So that's perfect, man. Like, uh, obviously, tender, oh, tender as well. I reckon I could have just squashed that with my tongue and it would yes. have just went out. Tasty. Oh, the sweetness. So these guys here next to us are oh, the best, beautiful. best oh, uh, brisket cooks in, um, in uh, New Zealand. So <laughs> okay, yeah. Gotta go try theirs. Oh, okay, yeah. Now. Yeah. All right, we'll. Oh, sweet. I'll let you do your thing then, huh? Really All nice right, to no meet worries, you, man. You too, huh? Yeah, sweet. Oh, Traeger. Got the Traeger. Well, that is a Traeger, but we think most of it's in the Oh, wow. So it's going to get these ready to go in the box, bro, and then you'll be able to try one. Oh, yes. Here we go. So the, <laughs> you're lucky enough, you're going with this competition. Everyone's getting their best pieces of meat. And uh, when you go walking around, I get to try everyone's best piece of, best piece of meat. So how good's that? Yeah, bro, so just feeling, have, oh, a, have, a little, have a little tab, tab on that just for, to feel for tenderness. Oh, wow. So just like a little beef marshmallow, basically. I mean, that's just, you can barely feel it. Just yeah, go straight in. Just no, no <laughs> resistance, man. So when you go to bite it, obviously it'll just yeah, let go. Exactly, just yeah. juicy. Yeah. So this is actually a, um, a New Zealand brisket that we brought over um, from Black Origin to Kiwi, Kiwi Wagyu. Yes. There we go. We've already seen the tender test like that. <laughs> Not bad, eh? It's like meat candy, Mate, just, 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 exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> Marshmallow, I like that. It's like, it. a, yeah, it's like literally that soft. Yeah, uh, as I said, like you wouldn't want uh, kilos of it. Right? That, that much flavour. Oh, yeah, couple mate. of couple of pieces. So we, we do what that to suit a judge and one bite. That's exactly, yeah, that so, they were saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's only the one bite thing, and so you got to over flavour it. You yep. wouldn't eat all of that yourself. Ever, exactly right. You know. And I've noticed that, like even when I, because I do barbecues with my family and that, so a lot of times when I do do some of the, you know, whatever, as I was saying to them, like the pork neck and that, I'll have a, a lot of flavour. Yeah. Where you would, uh, I carve it up all the, like, uh, so the, the charcoal bits on the end, like you know, after I've been pasting it with marinade yeah. and that, carve it up, and then walk around everyone just getting a couple of pieces. They want more, 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 more. But if I was to give them a whole bowl full, they'd be like, ah, oh, that's uh, too, too much, rich. man, Way too much. Too rich, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, they get one little piece, and like, fuck, I need more. Yeah. So another one. Bit of a fold over. Here, bro, go for gold. Yeah, all right. Should just let Beautiful. go. Beautiful. Little resistance. My arm real. What do you reckon? Very good. Yeah. Very good capture as well.
Sausages, please, just on standby because he is pushing, pushing very hard with 56 seconds left on the clock. And he seems to be well, well clear of everyone here. Joe Big Dags, he's on number seven, I believe, number seven. And down here we've got Scotty, he's on number eight, number eight, and we've got number eight here as well. Five, four, three, two, one. Sausages and breath down this competition is over! Right here is Trophy and he has picked himself up one thousand dollars! Thanks to Meatstock! Let's give it up to Kellen and Meatstock everyone! It was good first time ever been to Meatstock and uh, it was awesome. I didn't realise they had so many other things there as well. So they had um, bull riding, uh, sausage, uh, sandwich eating competitions, you name it. There was so much going on. Uh, plenty of food, plenty of uh, you know mad little setups. Uh, it was incredible. So I got to get a, get around. So again, you obviously seen it. I enjoyed it, but um, I was uh, pretty impressed with some of my strongman stuff as well. So maybe that's another another gig I can do as well. Get some. Uh, I really wanted to push a car, and I didn't. You didn't get to see me pushing a car. I wanted to do that. They reckon that might have been a little too dangerous or running out of time, but flip a car, that's what they wanted. We didn't get it, but uh, maybe next time I'm going to flip a car for you, because uh, I might go down this uh, strong men route, see how we go. That was a good time, good time, enjoyed it. Uh, plenty of good food, uh, a lot of uh, little gifts and presents, and so we've got shitloads of rubs and sauces, so shout out everyone for throwing them uh, my way. I'll give some of them a crack. But uh, yeah, good time.